to talk about because I just recently saw this on my timeline. Glorilla um, is having a bit of a spat with Kai Sina for some reason. And for me, it kind of speaks to why music criticism or criticism in general is really at a down is, is, is at an all-time low and why maybe that might be the reason why art itself is at an all-time low and isn't really inspiring people especially when it comes to hip-hop music right the stuff that's coming out nowadays isn't that great there's obviously a stat that was came out recently with billboard about um there's not being a number one for a very very long time i think only until recently or in terms of albums from the hip-hop genre and shit and i think a lot of it has to do with the fact that for whatever reason artists nowadays are incredibly sensitive like incredibly sensitive um there is the sensitivity you need as an artist to tap into so that it can kind of inform your work but the sensitivity that i'm talking about is an inability to absorb to allow to be okay with people not being that amped on the stuff that you do for whatever reason they could just be trolling they could have a general a genuine reason why they don't like what you make but for some reason artists nowadays just don't want to hear it unless you're a complete fanboy they think anything else other than that is somebody hating on them is somebody not wanting them to win blah 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 and it leads to this weird situations where most artists it doesn't matter who they are have a kanye level ring of yes men and enablers around them that's something i realized when i watched that kanye documentary that leaked recently that as much as kanye is in the wrong for some of the things that he's done over the years you can't help but notice that he has an incredible amount of people around him who don't ever really call him out on the shit that he does because he's fucking kanye west so he's able to kind of quote unquote get away with saying some nonsense by the time he comes out to the public he thinks he's in a right because no one's ever pulled him up on it and then he's shocked by people's response because the general public Public don't you know aren't beholden to him you're not we're not his close friends so we don't really owe him that whatever that kind of turning a blind eye thing so he's kind of seemingly shocked but obviously it kind of doesn't help him in general because it kind of turns you into like a weird character where you're unable to sort of receive this level of criticism and this glorilla thing is a really good example of it because if i remember correctly kai Sina, um a really famous um, streamer nowadays i think he's exclusively on rumble um but he's also part of that amp crew of kids as well that does streaming online he was streaming online and from time to time he will review live music or albums that drop and he was listening to the no he's listening to um Gloria's new single it was like a drill record that she was doing where she filmed it in new york and she's doing you know she's doing lots of sturdy dance and stuff it just sounded really dated and really terrible and he didn't like the song and a lot of people didn't like the song because the song hasn't really performed as well as i'm sure, I'm sure Gloria would have helped and the response that he had to it was fairly tame i thought compared to what people were saying online about Glorilla, especially when you consider the rise of sexy red people comparing Glorilla and Sexy Red and saying Glorilla kind of fell off and Sexy Red replaced Glorilla and Glorilla, Sexy Red is not doing what Glorilla wanted, the blah, blah, blah. All this sort of debate started around that sort of time because Glorilla hasn't been able to kind of, you know, maintain that consistency or that kind of quality music that she did when she kind of first into, burst into the industry and it's kind of looked like she's already lost. So that response people had to the single was quite universal. I thought the response on social media was way harsher than what Kai Sinat said. Well, Kai Sinat responded to it online on live stream basically making some faces making some sounds and stuff that he didn't like the album and then randomly he was on live stream again kai Sina, recently and i guess he was trying to search up glorilla or do something or ask her something and then he went to her profile and he realized that he, she was blocked because he couldn't find her profile i was like oh my god she blocked me and it made me just think like man this is so pathetic do you know what i mean like he didn't like your song it's not like he doesn't like you as a person and all of a sudden he's an op it's like it's crazy anyway it's really article courtesy of complex um it says kai Sina recently made the revelation that glorilla blocked him on instagram he was streaming live on twitch um channel when he was searched his which searched her name on ig and realized she could no longer access her page now glow has seemingly responded um to the streamer in an ig live she said in the ig live don't come on my fucking live asking me about anybody that i had done blocked they they blocked and they gone stay there you made your bed you gotta lay there we he know why he blocked and it's like make your bed lay there because i've had a criticism of your music and i didn't think it was great or i didn't think it kind of matched up to your maybe earlier stuff that you put out or it just does wasn't for my taste and all of a sudden i've made my bed lay in it it's such a bizarre place to come to because it's almost as if like they don't want to have they don't want to sort of like convince no they don't want to sort of like um ever have a situation where a fan may not like their single 
voice their concerns about why they don't like it. And then later on down the line, Glorilla puts out another single that's far better that other people that the same people that hate the the previous one like now. And then now she's kind of kind of converted them back again to being fans. That's not an option, basically. It's either you're a fan now until until the end of time, or you're an op, which is such an immature way to approach things. But again, it also may speak to why music criticism is in the toilet and doesn't exist and if it does exist it centers around numbers that academics does right first week sales and all this nonsense that doesn't really actually speak to the craft and the art of the music itself and because of that i feel like that concentration or that kind of obsession with numbers that's probably why the quality of music is so shit so you've got artists who are incapable of receiving any level of negative criticism you have music critics who feel as if like you know constructive well-meaning in-depth music criticism is not really something people care about they're here for the drama so they refuse to cover that sort of shit and they just talk about first week sales they talk about the drama surrounding the album drop but very rarely are they talking about the quality of the actual music like is the music good or not a good example being offset's new album that just dropped i listened to it it's fairly decent if anything, it's a lot better than I expected it to be from him because once he got kind of, you know, he fell out with the Migos before Takeoff passed away and he kind of got kind of, you know, chucked out of the group and then dropped from the QC label, it sort of felt like he was going nowhere. So it kind of is a bit of a surprise and is pleasantly surprising he was able to put such a decent project out. Again, is it the best thing in such such bread? No, but it's a lot better than I expected it to be. But the album is good, really, really good. Great, there's some great um, songs on it. There's some great bars, great choruses great production um i think he skates over most of them the features are really well are, are, are fairly well done and picked but because of the drama surrounding his wife cardi b and everything that she gets up to and maybe some of the drama considering him as well it sort of overshadowed the quality of the music no one's talking about it anymore so it's all about the other you know external shit that doesn't really influence the music because i've always said even if there are people out there who think oh i'm not going to support offset because i'm not a fan of cardi b I've always maintained when it comes to music, if the music is good, people will make excuses for it. You saw it happening with, um, uh, what's, what's her name called? I forgot the guy, the, the lady's name. I think she's an R&B singer, right? Claudia something, who was involved in some sort of racial scandal thing. And people basically stopped caring about it because the music was just too good to ignore. Simple as that, right? Um, let me see if I can find it. Um, Cla- is it Claudia? Is it Claudia something? I forgot her name. But anyway, you, I think some of you guys know what I'm talking about. But as long as, and I guess another example is, is flipping Daniel Caesar. Daniel Caesar went for a little bit of a cancellation period too, but the music was undeniable. And in the end, people kind of got over whatever happened with him and Yes Jules and that whole kind of, you know, colorism thing, whatever it may be. So I feel like with Glorilla, yes, some of the singles have been underwhelming. Yes, some of them haven't really matched up to the earlier success of the stuff that she did previously. But really and truly, it's all in her, it's all in her own hands. If she decided tomorrow, you know, no pun intended, to, you know, hanker down and actually put together a song that's on par with the stuff she put on before, you know, like FNN, Tomorrow Tube and shit, she could do it. And I'm sure it would work out and people would be big fans of it. But at the moment now, the songs aren't great. They're not good. And most like, and I think for the betterment of her career as an artist, it's probably for the best that fans and random people online actually say hey this stuff isn't good so that she can maybe go back to the drawing board go back to the studio perfect her craft hone her craft and come back with something a little bit more harder that's what you'd hope should happen but again you know what do i know what do i know